Well, on a Sagittarius sun, Aries moons, welcome to your 2023 sun moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorder or a live reading. Just email, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715. When you view this is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also, check out your 2022 sun moon reading. See if they rang true for you or as somebody else. The first portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your sun moon combination, lay out the main cards, take a quick look at your 2023. The second portion will be the video link below where I have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2023. So Sagittarius Sun, Aries Moons, get the fireworks ready because this combination is a spirited soul with passionate pursuits. You're often found living a very exciting life and have all the energy to keep it going. You dream of new adventures and the outdoors. Your absolute freedom and independence must be respected and you need a special person in your life to realize this. Your optimistic, enthusiastic, charming, and love a great time. Your ability to inspire others makes you a perfect candidate for positions of leadership. Additionally, you have a big caring heart and like to help people expect better of themselves. At times, you can be impulsive, temperamental, and cynical. You can be very fixed in your opinions and vision, and when others don't share your views, your temper can be stirred. Take care not to come across as arrogant and be open to others' opinions. You're a traveler and a scholar and gain your knowledge through those experiences. You make it a point to engage with people along the way and try everything life has to offer. Life is too short and you are always looking forward to your next challenge. So, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides of the Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Sagittarius, Sun, Aries, Moons for the year 2023? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground and come closer to universe and closer to divine? Any messages would be greatly appreciated. We thank you. What do you see for January, February, March? We have the Nine of Swords in the upright. Alrighty, what do we see for April, May, June? We have the Six of Swords in the upright. Look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. Always appreciated. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse for July, August, September, and October, November, December has the Four of Cups in the reverse. Ooh, tough year, tough year, not gonna lie. Okay, so it looks like in January, February, and March, you are very um, in your head about something. Um, this is a card of depression, anxiety, ruminating, stress, uh, self-loathing, talking poorly of oneself, um, creating negative emotions that absolutely paralyze you into any sort of uh, productive or positive action. So there's a lot going on, um, a lot possibly insomnia going on. Also, you're kind of waking up in the middle of the night, your heart's racing, you're sweating, you're, you know, having nightmares. Um, you know, not getting much sleep. So um, it might be a problematic time for you in January, February, March. Um, now, you may get some relief in April, May, June, because I see you moving away from it all. You're just like, I can't do this anymore. So I do feel as though you could physically just pack up your stuff and say, I'm moving someplace else. Um, this is not working for me anymore. I can't continue to be in this state. Um, it doesn't have to be a physical move. If it is, it's going to be over water. It's going to be near water. Um, if you're you know, moving into a new house or you're relocating, um, you know, that would be uh, for a physical move. But the move could also be mental. It could be spiritual. It could be going separate ways with someone. It could be leaving something behind, you know, mentally or spiritually, you know, is really weighing you down, causing a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. And, you know, while you're not, you know, you, you may have um, some measure of regret from what you're leaving behind. You're keeping your chin up. You're looking forward and you're taking comfort knowing that you're heading to a better place. So um, I think you're pushing the reset button in April, May, June, um, moving forward for um, a fresh start. Now, in July, August, and September, I'm seeing you're having difficulties making things happen. Um, lack of uh, forward movement, lack of progress, lack of success, not feeling motivated, not feeling ambitious about anything, you know, just kind of feeling like you're, you know, swimming in quicksand or swimming in mud. Um, and one of the reasons can be because, um, you have an expectation of an outcome or you have a, you know, expectations in general um, usually can cause problems because we get very stuck in our way of thinking and we tend to get tunnel vision. So I feel as though you have something in your mind that you want 
to go a certain way and that is not happening. So you just continue to kind of do it the same way, hoping that you're going to get a different result. Um, and I don't think that's happening. I feel like you're getting held back um, because of that and you're not getting where you want to go. So it may be a difficult time in July, August and September. And I'm kind of seeing the carryover of that in October, November, December, because here I'm seeing um, you still kind of very focused on what's not happening instead of making things happen. So I feel you want something to happen a certain way and you feel like if you apply more force, if you're more aggressive with it, eventually it's going to happen. Um, and what's happening in the meanwhile is that um, all these other opportunities are kind of swirling around that you're unaware of. Um, you know, and if you want things to change, you really need to kind of make life happen and make those things happen. So um, Instead of being so dead set on a certain outcome, I would recommend you you loosen up a little bit. I mean, you guys are pretty loose, but um, you know, I, I hope there's you are being obstinate in regards to something, um, and you start looking into um, some other opportunities. Otherwise, you're just going to be in this kind of limbo. Um, not much is going to be happening, and you're going to continue to kind of be hanging out in this muck. So, that's what I have for you at this time. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading, email, DM, or a text me 646-902-5715 um but make sure you click on the Vimeo link below because I'm going to be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation in addition to a look at your 20, I mean, advice for 2023. Yeah, yeah. Um, check out your 2022's Sun Moon readings. They're still in my playlist. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. And then look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Sagittarius Sun, Aries Moons, I will see you in the Vimeo and and adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.